Hi, this is No Sugar Added. And today we're doing vegetarian. But don't worry, we're getting back to the fun stuff next week. God, I've got the meat sweats. Mm. Holy shit. I got the meat sweats. <laughs> So we actually started this before we even started doing the no sugar added thing. It's similar to what we're doing with the no sugar added, trying to bring awareness to the fact that there is sugar in everything. We're trying to be a little bit more environmentally conscious with not eating meat once a week. So the U.S. produces 26 billion pounds of beef per year. No, it's million. <laughs> no, billion. Yeah, no, it's billion. Each kilogram of beef is equivalent to about 27 kilograms of carbon dioxide gas dumped into the atmosphere. Now we had to do a lot of math and uh, converting between metric and English, but it turned out that that came out to just over 700 billion pounds of carbon dioxide equivalent dumped into our atmosphere every year. And that's in addition to all the chemicals and different gases that we put in the atmosphere with cars and manufacturing and such. So that's a lot of carbon dioxide. So in light of that, we decided to take 52 days per person out of that equation and do a vegetarian day every week. We did this before we even started No Sugar Added doesn't really have anything to do with uh, health reasons, although it is healthier. So what we're doing is kind of going the whole no sugar added vegetarian route to kind of show what, since we started this, what kind of recipes that we're going with. And this is also our chance to start experimenting a little bit with different food items. With that in mind, Dawn is going to show you how to make vegetarian tacos. Now, mind you, I said this is an experiment. It is up to you to kind of determine what you want to add and subtract to what I'm about to show you. First off, we start with our black beans. Now, we do our black beans fresh. We soak them for about six hours, and then we boil them for about 45 minutes. That does take quite a bit of time, and especially if you're crunched on time, might not be the best option. So you can always pick up canned beans if you'd like. Now, we also have our vegetables, tomatoes. We don't put it in there, we just add it to them afterwards. Our peppers, red pepper, green pepper. We also add a little bit of onion. We have our spices, we have corn. We actually are gonna do roasted corn in ours today. That's something new for us. We also have olive oil. Now, olive oil is our base. We use it to kind of saute everything, kind of give them that nice uh, flavor in there and really really heat it up it's good stuff and it's really good for making a sauce so then we also have our hot sauce I in particular to Valentina's it's got a nice little kick to it it's got really good flavor again you don't have to add hot sauce because if you're not a big fan of spicy this probably won't do you any favors now because we do like spicy we have jalapenos now you can do fresh jalapenos or you can do them in a can either one works this does not have sugar but as we do mention definitely check the labels now our spices we have garlic gotta have garlic in everything we have a little bit of chili powder again up to you we have more garlic a little bit of cayenne pepper sea salt, fresh ground pepper, and we have cilantro, either fresh or dried. Either one will work. Now, we do fresh because I happen to grow my own herbs, but you can do dried, works just as well. Now, the main ingredient in any taco flavoring is cumin. Now, you're probably wondering why don't we use just use like a pre-packaged -pa mix, whatnot, it's really good. Not so much, because pre-packaged mixes, while makes it a little bit easier, tend to have sugar in them. We checked this and it turns out our favorite taco mix also has sugar. They really do put it in everything. Same with some of our favorites, our gourmet burger and kickin' chicken, something we like to put on our baked potato, thought we're doing something really healthy. 
sugar. So there you have it. You have your vegetarian ingredients. Again, feel free to pick and choose. Maybe you want to do peppers. Maybe you just want to do onions and black beans. Maybe you want to do a whole slew of other vegetables. Feel free to experiment. That's kind of what this whole thing is about. And don't forget your tortillas. Now when you're done, you can also add a little avocado, cheese, and possibly Greek yogurt. Again, check the back.